Hey! People are always asking me for my opinion on things. And well, you know, that right there, people have a lot of questions. And I've got a little bit of background in this kind of stuff. So I figured I'd, I figured out to my Patreons, I answer them directly. But this is a big subject that a lot of people need to wrap their head around. Up front, EMP, balloon. Not really a tactically smart idea. Possible? Yes. Plausible? Not really. Let's check out the science. So first things first. Yes, it was a Chinese balloon. No, it was not civilian in nature. Yes, it was meant to spy on us. Yes, our administration let it do exactly what they wanted it to do. Now to get into some Barney stuff. We've all seen pictures like this, but we don't truly understand them. So let me show you this quick graph right here. This graph shows exactly how altitude has everything to do with the effectiveness of an EMP. Based on this information, which was gathered during Operation Starfish Prime, which was part of Operation Fishbowl, where they actually detonated a 4.4 and a 4.5 megaton device 250 miles above the Earth's surface, they were able to determine that it can travel roughly 1,500 miles in a straight line distance. So you get graphs, you get charts like this, but people don't actually understand them. So let me make this really easy for you. If a balloon that was at 66,000 feet, the same exact altitude that this balloon traveled, were able to carry and thus detonate a 1.4 megaton weapon right over the center of the continental United States, then this would be a feasible situation. The problem is, is these balloons cannot travel high enough to make it realistic. If you're looking at the chart, you'll see where it says 30 kilometers. That's the altitude. That's how big the EMP effect would strike back at the Earth. That would be its radius. If a single balloon with that 1.4 kilo or megaton weapon detonated at 30 kilometers, that is how much damage it would do as far as damaging our infrastructure on EMP. So in this particular case, the balloon just isn't traveling high enough. And I'm here to tell you that that balloon cannot travel high enough because it needs to get about 240, 250 miles above the surface of the Earth. Let me show you something. This is Google Earth. And what I've done is I've made a couple of things for you so that you can understand exactly what happened. If you notice, the center of the United States varies because we're kind of guessing at this point. So roughly that circle would be like right around here, right? You remember when it kind of hung out right over Kansas City for some reason? You remember that? Let me go ahead and change the angle here so you can see something. We're going to zoom in. Now what I've done is I've taken, taken uh, and uh, placed a marker and as you can see this marker moves because I have it set for the altitude of 66,000 feet in reference to the earth and it's somewhere between Omaha Nebraska and Kansas City Missouri which is close to the center of the United States so if you can see this we're going to see if we can't zoom in before that this thing freaking out this is the altitude of that balloon at 66,000 feet in order to make an EMP or HEMP effective and do enough damage to the, to the continental United States, it would have to be at a between 240 or 250 miles above the surface of the Earth when the detonation occurred. So I've got it set up, and let's see what that would really look like. Hmm, it's, it's not there. Let's go ahead and let's, let's zoom out and see how high oh my god that would be significantly higher wouldn't it guys and i'm not trying to be facetious i'm literally telling you that that is how high the detonation would have to be in order to affect the entire united states if you believe for a second that they would send one balloon with one weapon and not get it high enough to do the job maybe the tinfoil hat is just a little too tight for reference, I've also added the International Space Station to this equation, and it would have to be almost 
as high, which is currently 254 miles above the surface of the Earth. So as you can see, where the balloon is, where the balloon was traveling in reference to where it would need to be to be an EMP that would damage the actual majority of the infrastructure of the United States of America is nowhere near as high as it needs to be. Now, it's tightened to tighten your tinfoil hats because I'm not saying that an EMP threat is not real. In fact, it is quite real. There's been lots of case studies. There is a lot of information out there that tells us that the Chinese are very willing and capable to use these weapons. In fact, China says it would reserve the right to make further necessary responses over the U.S. shooting down the spy balloon. So, as you know, this would be controversial, and this is nothing more than the Chinese basically saying, hey, if we decide to do something, that's our prerogative in the same way that we shot down their balloon. This also gives opportunity for other people to see that our current defensive stance is extremely weak. And uh, if, uh, if anything, it sends a message to the world that they can do whatever they want to do. And now there are even people saying that the China spy balloon shows that the country is preparing citizens for war that could come at any time, experts say. Now, you guys know how I feel about experts, but the reality is, is that there are people out there that are experts, and we really do need to be thinking about the possibility of an EMP. Because China does have super EMP weapons. They've had them in their inventory for years, and it is inside of their strategic planning to utilize EMP weapons on their enemies so that they're easier to conquer or destroy. So, to my tinfoil hatters, sorry, it's not going to happen. Does this mean that you don't want to or you don't need to protect yourself with a device like this? I have one. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's just smart. If you uh, don't believe in the science, that's great. But you know what? This science existed before 2019, if you get my drift. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out those links. It's your money. Spend it however the hell you want to, but knowledge is power. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.